Viserion no longer gave a damn where his bombs fell. Although he did not go as far as Dunbar, who dropped his bombs hundreds of yards past the village and would face a court-martial if it ever had been shown that he'd done it deliberately, without a word even to Viserion, Dunbar washed his hands in the mission and the fall in the hospital had either showed him the light or addled his brains. It was impossible to say which. Dunbar seldom laughed anymore and seemed to be wasting away. He snarled belligerently at superior officers, even at Major Danby, and was crude and surly and profane even in front of the chaplain, who was afraid Dunbar now and seemed to be wasting away also. The chaplain's pilgrimage to Wintergreen had proved abortive. Another shrine was empty. Wintergreen was too busy to see the chaplain himself. A brash assistant brought the chaplain a stolen Zippo cigarette lighter as a gift and informed him condescendingly that Wintergreen was too deeply involved with wartime activities to concern himself with matters so trivial as the number of missions men had to fly. Catch-22, Joseph Heller.